So let's go over some of the facts that occurred with my mother. She went to the hospital for constipation. She did a walk test, everything. They did every kind of test on her. They tested her for everything. They even tested her heart. Now, if she wasn't walking, how did she pass a walk test? They released her, and they were going to send her home that night. At a, I got a call from the hospital at 11.45. And so they said they were going to send her home. And uh, they wanted to know where her Medicaid card was. I said she has it with her. It's in her purse. So they were going to send her home. What happened? So they released her. And then they readmitted her to put her into a nursing home. She passed the walk test. The walk test is um, a walk test is where you go and you walk without your oxygen, and they keep ch check on your uh, uh, your oxygen levels. Now this is a two to three minute test that has to be done. That they did, and she was walking fine for two to three minutes, but all of a sudden, she gets released from the hospital, and she can't walk. She walked out to the gurney. The ambulance people did not bring a gurney in here. It wouldn't fit. So, then we get a phone call. Well, they, they told me at the hospital that, um, from, uh, from the phone call that, um, the next morning, that I called the hospital. I said, where's my mother? She never came home. And um, they said that they had uh, put her into a rehab so they can deal with her walking problems. And I was confused. I said, what walking problems? You released her. I said, and sh she had done a walk test while she was there. They assume that everybody's stupid. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. But my mother's had quite a few walk tests. And... Um, so then they gave me the name of the, uh, the, uh, they called it, uh, they put her in rehab. That's what they said, not a nursing home. They put her into a rehab. So, like I said, that this is not rehabilitative medicine. This is not rehabilitative. It does not say rehabilitative medicine. It says skilled nursing facility. And, um, so, uh, call over there, and I said, why, why is my mother there? What's going on? Oh, uh, well, we're, we're going to help her with her walking, and, you know, she's in rehab, and, um, you know, after she, as she's done with it, she'll be back home. Still waiting. Still waiting. My mother doesn't even, I called her yesterday, tried to get through an emergency message to her, can't even get a hold of her. They cut her off from the outside, is basically what they did. Um, so, um, we're gonna have to go up, uh, take three buses there, three buses back. And talk to her. And my guess is she has no idea what the heck's going on. Because they lied. It's not that she has Alzheimer's and she can't remember. They lied. All of them. How do you get released from the ER... And then readmitted. How did they readmit her back into the hospital? Okay. Well, this is for going to be for a lawyer to decide and to work out. 
and enough is enough with the government. APS is behind this, and they are a big-ass problem. They have been at my mother, and I told, you know what it's about? It's about Kanika Jenkins. They want it so they can make money. I'm sorry. Hey, wake up. That whole thing about Kanika Jenkins and leaving it to my mother and brother and they can't sell it, give it away, do anything else with it, does not mean they can give it to you to go do it. And the reason why it was there, and you want to know about how you well you did your fucking job? You want to go to court with me? Do you want to bounce heads, Really? It was to exonerate my mother and my brother because they were set up. They, the people were over there. And then Tony was pretending that Jackie was his wife and that this guy, Dan Pasella, was my brother, and he is not. And let me, let me tell you about how well you did your job. All those scars that are on my back, I found the audios. And you know Chicago knew about it. Came and told me. Chicago knew about it. How the hell did the people in Lancaster not know? How the hell did you not know? Believe me, we're going to be bouncing heads. You're going to really hate me. Don't think I was playing with you because I wasn't. More concerned about Kanika Jenkins than my mother. Go to hell. And then you go and you slam her into a nursing home to hide the fact that you people didn't do your damn jobs and hide the fact that you're trying to fucking oust things from out, out from under people to go make money. Unfucking believable.